Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this development log video for my new game Pedro's Adventure The Sacrificial Link. It's primarily going to be a mobile game and it's a turn based adventure game. Um, this is going to be early gameplay footage of the first chapter so it's like an introduction and also a tutorial. You can sit back and watch this video and enjoy me playing the game or if you'd like to give it a go for yourself the description will have a link to the Unity web player version. So check that out if you want to play the game yourself. And if not, just sit back and enjoy me trying to play through the first chapter. As I mentioned, it is a turn-based adventure game and this is our hero, Pedro. And unfortunately, there is some text to read and I am not a professional voice actor. So I envisage this kind of turning out kind of bad and sounding terrible but fingers crossed that you can bear with me reading this out. So Pedro wakes up and says yawn I really needed that lie in. I bet your dad has something to say about my laziness. If he does I'll just have to remind him I could be lazy when his ass needs saving next time. I better go find him and then it gives us some instructions to move tap near the edge of the screen in the direction you want to move and to talk stand beside the person and tap them. So to move Pedro we just tap or click on the web version uh, of it near the edge of the screen where we want to move and then Pedro will move and each kind of move he does is a turn so we will see when we get to the next area when we uh, are fighting enemies and things like that that each kind of move Pedro does is actually a whole turn so we follow the path go into the house and here we have Pedro's father and he says hey son you finally got back you finally got up out of bed then. Go chop those two tree stumps down between our houses. We've been putting it off for ages. We need to make room to build your uncle a place. Let's go. Chop chop. Oh ha 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 ha. So yeah. A terrible pun joke. <laughs> so then we get some instructions. And it says to attack. Stand next to the target and tap it. So we'll go outside. And go back up to that tree stump and try to attack it. I guess this is kind of like uh, the Karate Kid in Mr. Miyagi where he gets you to do some mundane tax tasks to teach you how to become <laughs> the master so this bit here is like a, us and wax on wax off except you're not doing that you're just attacking a silly little tree stump. So you go and kill the tree stumps and we'll go back to Pedro's father to see what he has to say and he says that was some good ch ch that was some good chopping son it seems like yesterday you couldn't even lift a sword and now after the events of the last few days well you know right time to get my spade and start digging the foundations for your uncle's house ah that's right I dropped my tools and are panicked to make it here I don't feel up for venturing into the forest will you go look for my spade son when you find it, come back and we can get the foundation started. Do you dig that? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Sorry about the other, another awful pun joke, but uh, we have some more instructions, which is to collect an item, stand next to it and tap it. So we'll follow the path and go out into the forest and look for this spade. So here we are in the forest and the forest is randomly generated each time. So it places all these uh, trees and enemies uh, randomly throughout and um, we can see we have our health here and the number of turns that we're allowed before we have to go back. So we have a bird here and um, you can see each uh, time we tap it we attack and it attacks back. So and what adventure would be complete without uh, giant rats is one of the first enemies so um, we'll just wander around the forest looking for this speed and as I said the forest is randomly generated each time so that was kind of handy that we came across it pretty early so we click on the spade and it says return home and uh, we'll say yes and we'll go back up to see what Pedro's father has to say and he says great you find my spade I'll get started on the foundations right away it's great to keep busy in times like these you can throw up these houses up in a matter of hours with the right tools. I don't suppose you sp spotted my saw while you were out exploring? 
get back out there. Well, you can't use a spade to cut wheat now, can you? So, back out into the forest to try and find the saw this time. So the kind of point of this introductory chapter is to get the player used to the movement and uh, the idea of turns and how enemies attack and how to attack. So uh, hopefully it's a nice smooth introduction to the game plus also setting the scene for the story. Um, I hate tutorials where that you just have to play them and it, it really is a tutorial where it's holding your hand to do absolutely everything. So. I've tried to make it that the tutorials involved in the game and uh, it's not just a separate section on its own. So we're right here again looking for this saw and uh, I can't seem to find it at the minute. But uh, development's gone on for maybe a couple of months now. I started uh, trying to make this game in May, I was about halfway through May. So, um, probably aiming for maybe a September, October release if things keep going smoothly as they have so far. And uh, I think primarily targeting iOS first of all, as um, I don't have any Android devices at the minute, but everything that I've got uh, has been scaling quite nicely to. Oh, we might find this all this time low in health and turns. But I've got everything scaling quite nice um, between the devices, so uh, Android should be um, the Android version should be following the iOS version soon after it. Um, my plan is to do these kind of development logs on a weekly basis, keep everybody up to date that's interested in the game and uh, the next steps and what I'm actually working on and uh, also have ver like, uh, versions you can play so this version will be up uh, with the link in the description and uh, I'll keep updating that with the newest version when I have more sections of the game to show so we'll just go up here and hopefully find this saw uh, soon so we can um, Move on, and hopefully that uh, Pedro that will be able to build the house. Well, the animals chase after you if you don't attack them, and now I'm kind of being ganged up upon. So <laughs> I'm gonna take a fair beating in the health department here, and I'm low on turns again. So we'll hopefully find the saw soon. If not, we'll have to go back. Oh no! It was there too. I'm gonna have to go back and check on that. That's so frustrating. So back out into the woods. Let's see if we can find another saw. Oh oh! Again, being ganged up upon by these giant rats and the blackbirds. So the sprites here in this game are by Oryx Design Labs, which is also uh, I will include a link in the description if you're interested in them. It's the 16. Bit pack, which has definitely got a kind of Zelda nostalgia feel to it, which I really like. Um, I've been adding a bit of my own artwork to it, but not much. But uh, definitely check Oryx's stuff out if you um, like the artwork. So we find the saw, and we'll go up and uh, talk to Pedro Stadish. City says, Aha, I finally see my saw. I'm almost better at cutting wood than I am at digging holes. You see those foundations, I finished them ages ago. You took your sweet time, you always were lazy, he he he. I just need my hammer and then I have all my tools back. Hurry back. So, we have to go out into the forest to find the hammer. Um, we can see that actually Pedro's dad's been hard at work Well, we were out mucking around in the forest. So he's dug the foundations, so if we get him his hammer then hopefully he'll be able to build the rest of the house and uh, oh that was lucky for us there's the hammer so 
we won't have a huge adventure like we did for the the saw so we'll return home and see what uh, Pedro's feller has to say ah Pedro late as usual your uncle Steve arrived so I didn't need that hammer as his head is so thick we just used that instead ha 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 he's been waiting to talk to you you should go check out the new house it's a bit bare at the minute but it was still standing the last time I checked not bad for an afternoon's work think I'll sleep well tonight well hopefully I haven't managed to sleep ever since ah give me that hammer I think I'll be able to start on some home improvements to keep myself busy go find your uncle and thanks for all your help son so I am sorry that I am not a professional voice actor I'm sure that sounds pretty terrible in this video but uh, it'll sound better when you read it in your own head <laughs> with uh, putting on your own voices so this is the new house and this is your uncle Steve he says Pedro man is it great to see you how are you holding up I was just talking to your father he's just making stupid jokes he always does that in times of stress I'm so sorry about your mother I guess your dad has said nothing about it he always just ignores everything and buries his head in the sand well I can't blame him this time what happened was horrific the attack on the village came as such a surprise I think only a handful of us made it away Thank goodness for this hideout and your dad's building skills. I do have a plan to make things right, but I have to do a little research first. Also, I just made it here by the skin of my teeth. After all the drama, I had a bear follow me. I think it was infected with evil that attacked our village. If you can kill it, then I can study it, which might make our next move clearer. Here, use this bow, it will hopefully come in handy. To attack using the bow, tap Pedro to enter shooting mode. In shooting mode, you cannot move, and to attack you need to tap the enemy the enemy must not be beside Pedro and must be within a range of the equipped bow for a shot to happen a clear line of sight is also required arrows will not be fired if an object is in the path of the arrow to exit shooting mode tap Pedro again you can only shoot once per turn now go get that possessed bear in the forest so we're back out into the forest again this time with our trusty bow and uh, we'll have to go hunt this bear that's been infected by some evil that um, Pedro's uncle has described. So go searching for this big bad bear. And now we've um, got the bow we can go into shoot mode. So you click Pedro to go into shoot mode and then shoot, click the enemy. And uh, you can do that once per turn. Oh, but we can't this time because there is a rock in the way. So if we move, then should be able to shoot it so you need a clear line of sight for shots to happen and uh, the enemy must also not be beside Pedro and it must be within range of the bow so at the minute the bow's got quite a long range so uh, might change it for the first bow that you have um, and oh there's the bear so that uh, better bow is far further um, so, oh, so uh, we'll try and get this bear and we'll move into post combat now so you can't f shoot arrows because uh, we're right beside it so the bear is dead and says collect the bear's blood sample return home and yes so we'll go back to see what Uncle Steve has to say. Well, Pedro's Uncle Steve has to say. Steve. Great hunting. Now let me check that blood sample. Ah, just as I thought. There is hope to rescue the village and get your mother back alive. Here, take a seat and listen carefully. I have an interesting story to tell. So, that's the end of the first chapter. Uh, that's what I've developed so far. So, if you're interested in updates then check out on twitter at ggiant games or if you like to like our facebook page for the game description uh, that link will be in the description really would uh, welcome any feedback and comments you have or any suggestions for the game and please check the game out yourself that link is also in the description thanks for watching cheers bye